Speaking of, let's get to those three types of transferring that you're going to perform. Three transfer types may be familiar to some of you, um, but for those that are not acquainted, we have warm, blind, and transfer to voicemail. I'm going to give you the gist of how each of these behave, and then we're going to go in detail as to how you're actually going to perform them on the Polycom phone. Okay? A warm transfer is also known as a consultative transfer in that I'm going to consult with the person I'm going to transfer to as part of the transfer process itself. English. I'm on the phone with Susie, right? Susie would like to be transferred to Luke. If I perform a consultative transfer, what it'll actually do is it'll actually put Susie on hold. So I'll have to ask Susie first, hey Susie, do you mind if I see if Luke's available? Because she asked to speak with him. She says, sure. If I perform that warm transfer, she gets put on hold. And in the meantime, Luke gets rung exclusively by me. So ring, 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 he picks up. Now it's just me and Luke on the call while Susie's still hanging on on hold. I say, hey Luke, I have Susie on the other line. Are you available to take this call? If he says yes, I can then send the call on its way. Alternatively, if Luke is not available, I can cancel that warm transfer, which drops Luke from the call and takes me right back to Susie, who's been holding out on hold. And I can politely explain to her, hey Luke, unfortunately he's not available at this time, okay? This is the default transfer type that your phones are going to perform, and it's the most popular, okay? And again, we're gonna go key by key on how we're gonna perform these on your phone in just a few moments. The blind transfer is exactly what people think of as your typical transfer, right? Simple A to B transfer, no cons consultating of any kind, no talking to Luke, it just sends the call on its way whether Luke is ready for it or not. In fact, if Luke is on a call and I blind transfer to him, he'll see the call, he'll see it on his apps, he'll see it on his phones, and he can choose to ignore it, and it will eventually roll to voicemail. Alternatively, he could tell the first caller, first caller hey, I have another caller coming in. Um, do you mind if you hang out for just a second? And he says yes. You can put that first person on hold, scoop up the second call, or simply tell the first person, hey, do you mind if I call you back? I have an urgent call coming in. And, and his call and scoop up the second before it rolls through. Okay, again, line transfers will show you the same caller ID, same phone number that you see, um, I would then send that to Luke. He would see that same information, okay? Whereas a warm transfer, what does Luke see? He actually sees my name on his phone, and obviously he knows I'm trying to communicate with him for a reason. Then lastly, transfer to voicemail, self-explanatory. If Susie specifically asks to be sent to voicemail, I can do that as well, and we're gonna show how to do that key press by key press. So, how do we perform a warm transfer? As you can imagine, starting with that transfer key. Okay, so you can press it from here or the soft key on underneath the display. Once you press that key, the phone will ask you to dial the extension of the phone number you wish to transfer to, right? So if you know the four digit extension of the person you wanna to transfer to, let's say Luke is one, two, three, four, just type one, two, three, four, okay? If it's an external number, right, and you can do warm transfers to external numbers like cell phones, just make sure you dial the full 10 digit phone number just like you can see here, okay? And then when I press send, what does it do? What's the underlying behavior of a warm transfer? Well, it puts Susie on hold, rings Luke, ring, ring, ring. He picks up. I say, hey, Luke, I have Susie on the other line. Are you available to take her call? If he says yes, how do I complete the transfer? I simply use the same key that I used to start the transfer, which is the transfer key. Okay, so a successful warm transfer looks like this. Transfer, in this case, one, two, three, four, send, consult with Luke. Hey, Luke, are you available? He says yes. Transfer. Okay, that's a successfully completed transfer. If Luke said no, Luke said, unfortunately, I'm not available at this time, on your screen, one of the soft keys will say cancel. And if you press the cancel key, it'll actually drop the call with Luke. And again, it takes you right back to Susie. And you politely explain to Susie that Luke is not available. Okay, and give her her options. That is a warm transfer. And again, the apps still have the same underlying behavior, and you're definitely gonna see that, but it's a much easier interface to work with. What if you need to do a blind transfer? Well, the blind transfer has one minor difference. Um, you still start with the transfer key, but you'll notice at the bottom of the display, there's going to be a blind key, right, on your soft key. And if you press it, it will actually toggle on the blind mode, okay? Because by default, it's warm. If we want to use blind for any reason, we press blind and your screen will actually change as well. It'll say blind transfer to when you press that key instead of transfer to, 
transfer two is a warm transfer. Blind transfer two obviously is just a regular blind transfer. And then once we're in that blind mode, the rest is exactly the same. You type the extension of the phone number you wish to transfer to, in this case, one, two, three, four for Luke, or if it's an external number, just dial the full 10 digit phone number, okay? And then I just press send. But unlike a warm transfer, a blind transfer does not have me consulting with him, so it just sends it on its way, okay? Exactly. Then transfer to voicemail, right? So let's say Susie asks to go straight to his voicemail. How do we perform that? Well, it's exactly like we just described the blind transfer to the T, except the last step, okay? So we're still gonna start by pressing the transfer key. We're still gonna press the blind key to switch to blind transfer. Again, it'll say blind transfer two. And then we simply dial his extension, but we're gonna specifically put a star zero in front of his extension um, when we're dialing it. Right, so it'll be transfer, blind, star zero, one, two, three, four. The star zero tells our system, hey, I'm not looking to do a regular blind transfer, I'm actually looking to hit his voicemail, and that's what triggers that to happen, right, the star zero. And as soon as you press send, the first thing Susie's gonna hear is his voicemail, okay? And two minutes later, Luke will have a nice voicemail waiting for him. Again, you can use this as a follow-up from a warm transfer, where you start with, a, with a consulting with Luke, seeing if he's available. He's not available, you double back to Susie, and then say, hey Susie, unfortunately Luke's not available, would you like to call back later, or perhaps I can transfer you to his voicemail, right? And if she says yes, you basically follow these steps of performing the transfer to voicemail for him, okay? All right, let's get rolling into the Ring Central phone app. We have our transfer options in the bottom left-hand corner. We talked about three transfer types, warm, blind, sent to voicemail. I'll take a look. They're lined up like, like a row of ducks. Okay, so you can do the same exact thing. We can type in Luke's name, simply select his extension, and I can warm transfer, also known as consultative transfer, right from here. I can blind transfer right from here or send to voicemail. Again, a warm transfer consults with him, so if I press this, it will put Susie on hold, so definitely let your customers know, hey, do you mind if I see if Luke's available? Sure, cool. Now go and press it, and it'll ring Luke exclusively. He picks up, and again, two buttons will appear. One will say transfer, and one will say cancel. And why are they there? Well, at that point, I'm asking Luke, hey, Luke, are you available to take this call from Susie? And if he says yes, I press transfer. If he says no, I say cancel, and what does that do? It drops Luke from the call, takes me right back to my customer, okay? And I can politely explain to Susie, hey, unfortunately, he's not available. Uh, blind, as the name says, blindly sends the call over to Luke, whether he's ready for it or not. And then we have send to voicemail. So this entire process is almost identical on the mobile device, and it should be pretty straightforward, okay?